We are in Georgia and David. We quit our jobs to travel full-time around Mexico with our 14-year-old Sheltie Poo Meep. Our goal is to take a picture with her in front of 100 Pueblo signs. We're currently in the Pueblo Mexico of Dolores Hidalgo. So it is about a 45-minute drive from San Miguel de Allende. Uh, so it's a really great day trip. Uh, Dolores Hidalgo is where they kind of finalized Mexican independence, so it's a very important city. And uh, right now we're just walking around and checking out the scenery. As always, on our self-guided tour, we have to check out the local churches. The most impressive church was Parroquia de Nuestra Señora de los Dolores. It is directly across from the main square. Inside, everything is lined with gold and very beautiful. After this church, we were kind of hungry, so we decided to get something to eat. But on the way, we found the Dolores Hildago sign and took a picture with Meep. For lunch, we stopped at the dog-friendly restaurant El Fruity. We sat in their open-air courtyard and enjoyed their arranchera before heading to the main square to finish up our first day in Dolores Hildago. On the way back to San Miguel de Allende, we stopped in Atotonilco to see what is known as the Sistine Chapel of Mexico, Santuario de Jesus Nazareno. Having been to the Vatican Museum and seeing the Sistine Chapel in person, we believe that this church is deserving of the title of the Sistine Chapel of Mexico. All right, so today we're heading back to Dolores Hildago uh, because that was, I guess, the birthplace of the Mexican independence. And so we want to check that out and learn more about it. And we couldn't really do that with Meep last time, so we're going to go alone. Yeah, Meep uh, usually can't go into the museums, you know. Yeah. <laughs> As per usual, we were hungry when we arrived in Dolores, so we decided to take a stroll around the Mercado to try to find some delicious tacos, and we found them at Carnitas Viegas. Happy and full, we moved on to Museo de la Independencia Nacional. The great thing about this museum is that the murals and paintings depict everything, so even if you can't read all the placards that are mostly in Spanish, you still get the gist of things. After touring the museum, we were ready to try one of the things that Dolores Hidalgo is most known for. It's ice cream in more flavors than you can imagine. ¿Qué es garambullo? Garambullo es una fruta aquí de la región. Es como una uva muy pequeña. It's like a little grape. Okay. Sí. Y se dan los cactus. Ah. Es un candy cactus. Es similar to tuna? Uh, no. No, la tuna es grande. Ah. Y esta es una fruta muy pequeña. Déjame te muestro. Es el garambullo. Similar to blueberry. Chicharrón, maybe? Sure. <laughs> Chicharrón. Oh, it's really good. <laughs> there we go. It's like that salty, salty, crunchy. Yes. 
Puedo probar elote. Mamey. Mamey es una fruta. Ahorita te doy la prueba, ¿eh? Mamey. But I don't know if they were in English. Uh, you don't know? No. I don't think. I don't think we we have it. Uh, no, I don't think we have it. Okay, uno más. Queso. This is a local cheese. That's good. This is our margarita. Piñon. Tequila. Piñon. Orange juice. Pineapple. We can actually taste the tequila in it. Okay, I think I'm going to do mame and a lote. What you getting? Mame and uh, noise. Oh. I was just saying to David, why can't we have ice cream like this? I have never had ice cream this good in the US. It's not too sweet. It's super creamy. All the flavors taste really natural. It's awesome. And up ahead here, you'll see a lot of Aquilar. And that is where we got our ice cream. They let us try a ton of flavors. And it was super delicious. All right, so we just finished up at the Jose Alfredo Jimenez Museum. He was basically the Elvis Presley of Mexico. Um, he made over 280 songs. Uh, he was very popular here, and uh, he lived until 1973. Yeah, so if you've ever seen like the Mexican uh, singer with the giant uh, sombrero with sequins all over it and the big bow, that's him. We were able to grab this single shot in the museum before we noticed the no photography allowed sign. We are currently at the mausoleum of Jose Alfredo Jimenez. He was born in the house that we toured earlier, that was the museum, and then this is where he was laid to rest in the cemetery here in Dolores Hidalgo. It's very cool, they have a rainbow colored snake, and on each of the different color scales there's the name of a different song that he wrote. And there's a big sombrero. Yeah, it is definitely one of the most ornate mausoleums we've seen. <laughs> Definitely the most colorful. <laughs> there, there are a lot of vineyards around us uh, here, me and that this is kind of close to the uh, Ruta de Vino y Queso. Um, and we were checking out some uh, vineyards that were close to us and Tres Raices was probably one of the closer ones. Unfortunately, they don't accept dogs. Today, we came to Santisma Trinidad. I WhatsApp them and asked them if they accepted pets and they do. Uh, we set up a reservation for one, so we're gonna check out their restaurant here. You having fun? Where's the food? We decided to do a tasting. So we have a rosé, a Merlot, a Malbec, and a Cabernet Sauvignon. So this is their um, house-made focaccia, and then these are green olives in their house-made olive oil. The meat and cheese plate was quite elaborate and very delicious. We both had the ribeye, which was seasoned to perfection. It came with goat cheese, mashed potatoes, and a salad with greens that were grown on site. Everything was beyond our expectations. After our amazing meal, we walked the grounds of this beautiful winery before heading back to San Miguel de Allende. Okay, so we just uh, wasted uh, 40 minutes driving from San Miguel de Allende out to Cañada de la Virgen. 
Um, it's a pyramid that we're not going to get to see. Um, and when you get up here, they tell you, oh, well, we do a tour every hour, but the next one is booked. She said that there's a phone number that we could have called to make a reservation, but it doesn't indicate that anywhere on the site. So um, if you can get to the site and make the call and make the reservation, then maybe it would be worth your time. We have no idea because we're not going to get to see it. Oh my gosh, this is a sea of lily pads. It's just, there's no water. It's just all lily pads. They're all bloomed purple. It's like a purple lake. So we decided to make the most of the day and we have driven to a new Pueblo Mexico. Come on Fort. Uh, it was, what, about 30, 35 minutes Ish. away yep. from San Miguel, and we've got Meep in tow, so we're going to go check out what this uh, little Pueblo Magico has to offer. Our day in Common Fort started out like most of our other day trips. We visited the main square, we found the Pueblo sign, took a picture with Meep, and visited a beautiful church. As we walked past the Presidencia Municipal Building, our day took an unexpected turn, and we ended up with our own personal tour guide. He showed us a couple places we never would have found on our own, including this alley with lots of very impressive street art. walked us over to some food vendors and showed us a local snack, fruta de orno, or fruit of the oven, or maybe a better translation would be result of the oven, as there is no fruit in this flaky sweet pastry. Well, we were just walking around town here, and uh, this guy out of nowhere said, hey, well, in Spanish, said, hey, come here, and he was showing us all these paintings inside this, uh, it's kind of a museum. Yeah, it's like a, like a history museum for this uh, Pueblo Mexico of Common Fort. Mm -hmm. And he was just really excited that we were there, and he started taking us around. Um, he actually showed us his house. Like, he took us all around town. Yeah, we're, like literally all around town. Introducing, <laughs> introducing us to his family, like uh, stopping at their work. <laughs> and you know, introduced us to his daughter and his wife. <laughs> I walked around town uh, for about two hours with him. Um, it, was, it was a really interesting experience. We learned a ton. He showed us things he never would have found on our own. Yeah. Um, and at the end, you know, David kind of was like, do you, do you want anything for your time? And he was like, no, 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 it's, it's a pleasure. And so, I mean, it was an awesome day. He it, absolutely made the day. It was kind of crazy. It was like he'd run into r random people on the street and he's like, hey, look at the Americans like yeah, that. Yeah, he's like, he's like, he's like I touristas. <laughs> <laughs> These are tourists. Yeah. So um, it, was, it was just a really neat experience. For our last day trip from San Miguel, we decided to visit the Chapel of Jimmy Ray. The late Ando McLaughlin turned his home into an intricate and imaginative work of art. They're currently doing tours by reservation only, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 10.30 a.m. The contact information is in the description below. I wouldn't have guessed.
Chapel of Jimmy Ray, and the reason it's called the Chapel of Jimmy Ray is because Anna's father uh, was named Jimmy Ray, so this is all kind of dedicated to him. Um, but it is definitely worth a visit. Um, I don't know if I've ever taken so many pictures in such a short period of time. It's, it's mosaic art, so it's really cool. visit the chapel of Jimmy Ray, this is where Google will say it is. If you go there, you'll meet a very nice lady, but you won't see any artwork. The actual location is just down the road. You can see it here circled in green. Also, the front gates would give it away if no other houses in Mexico are very colorful. If Google routes you via the red line, you should change it so you're coming in on the green line unless you're driving a four-wheel drive. We hope this video gave you some ideas of some quick and easy day trips you can take from San Miguel de Allende. Please like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or ideas for day trips of your own, please leave them in the comments below.